Hello everybody. Um I'm coming to you with my first nail video. Uh I was doing my nails. I did like some lipstick tips, so I'm going to show you how I do with this last one. Um <clears throat> I'm just trying this out. It's hard for me to get the glitter to not go every fucking where cuz I'm using nail forms. And I'm using this uh acrylic. I ordered it from uh I don't know if that's in focus. I ordered it from Amazon. That's the acrylic I'll be using. It's Flex Clear Powder. I'm going to be using this for a Super Nail Liquid Monomer. Uh, no Burn Primer. I don't know where this is from, but it's, all of this stuff is from Amazon. Um, I have this raggedy old brush. That's all I got, so this is what I gotta use. I'm gonna use this for my primer. Uh, I'm gonna be using this glitter from Reflections uh, Collection from uh, Michaels. It's called Peacock, and this one is called Orchid. Orchid, 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 whatever, how you ever say that. Um, so, and I'm using these nail forms right here. You've seen these all over YouTube. And basically, you just put the acrylic in there how you want it, then you put it on your nail. Usually, I use I put tips on there, but um, I've been watching a few girls who just put it in the form. So that is what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I've already cleaned my hands; they're kind of uh, dry looking. I'm going to take this. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. This is a, a pre prep nail dehydrator. From ASP. So I'm going to dehydrate the nail. Okay. I've already pushed my cuticles back. I don't know if I need to show you guys that. It's not really important to show. All you need to know that you need to do it. Alright. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some primer. And right before I put the nail on, I'm going to hit it with the primer again. Okay. Here's the form. Number five. Alright, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring this down here for y'all to see it. I'm going to dip it into the monomer and then into the acrylic. Alright. I'm going to put a thin, thin layer of clear on there first. Um, and then let that set up. I'm going to shape the lipstick tip after I um, do the nail because I just feel like it's faster that way and I don't have the skills like some girls to, to form it on the form. Which you can do that. I just don't want to be fussing with it forever. Okay, you want to make sure you push that all the way to the sides. You don't want to have any of the acrylic settling in the middle because you want a good C shape of the nail so that it will not break easy. I work at uh, a hardware store and it's not easy to keep your nails intact. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dip my my brush into the monomer, then the acrylic, and then into the glitter and place it on the form. Um, there's no particular design. I'm just doing it as I go, as I want to. And most of my nails have a lot of blue, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of this purple and start with that. Just put it right on there. Um... My bowl was a little dry. I think I need more glitter in my pal. Hold on. I mean, the thing is with this, if you mess up, you can always just pick another form 
and start over or you could just wait for that form to dry and pop the acrylic right out and it's no big deal so I'm going to go into that glitter again you see how I did that picked up some of that glitter and I'm going to place it on to the form like that go back in there get some more glitter because I don't want my real nail line to show through the glitter so I'm going to make sure that glitter is nice and thick okay now I'm going to come in and get some of the blue glitter and place it on there I didn't put too much because I, I didn't want to waste too much product because I'm only doing one nail. I mean, this might seem time consuming, but that's only because I'm explaining it to y'all. If I was just doing it, I could just do it real fast. It doesn't take really that long. I mean, you don't have to glue any nails on. You could just go ahead and use this as a complete form for the nails. Uh, this is something fun to do, and it saves you money. I mean, all of this stuff that I have here maybe cost me about uh, $30. And going to the nail salon, when they want to put all the extras on there, they want to charge you for every little thing. They charge you for diamonds. They charge you for everything. If you want a design, you got to pay for that. And as the economy gets worse and worse, everything's getting more and more expensive. So what you want to do is make sure you pet that up to the sides. And um, make sure you have that C curve. You can turn it over and check out your design. Make sure you like it. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clear uh, a, a ball of clear on there to level it out. And then I'm going to stick it to my nail. Yeah, pick up some of that clear. Start right here. And rip my way down. If you want to get it nice and thick with the C, you don't want it to settle. And now for a little clear in the nail bed. That was too dry. See, this is not a perfect science. Anyone can do this. Or you can go to the nail salon. I mean, it's really up to you. Uh, not everyone's creative like this, but if you want to make some extra money, you could also like get this, get this stuff, and start doing your friend's nails uh, just for fun. Now I'm going to take the, let this set up a little bit, and I'm going to, hit this with a little bit more primer oh I forgot to tell you after you push your cuticles back you want to file your nail to get rid of the shine okay this acrylic's a little loose alright now it's time to stick it to your nail you're gonna take the form you want to hold it at the top, depending on how long you made it. I try not to make it too long because I don't want to do too much filing. And it can't be too long for my job. You're going to stick it on there nice and firmly. Um, and if some stuff comes out on the sides, you're going to go ahead and clean that up with a cuticle pusher. Or some type of edged type of thing. A, a stick or a tweezer or the back of your brush or whatever. So you're going to hold it there for about, you know, a couple seconds until you feel like it's firmed up. Maybe like 10, 15 seconds. Okay. You're holding it on there. This video may run a little long because I am a little long-winded when it comes to doing new things. So let that set up. And if there's any overage, you go ahead and take your q-tip and you scrape it along the sides like that all right then what you want to do is you want to turn your nail over to make sure you get that 
whatever flowed out, pushed out from the bottom. You're going to dip your brush in the monomer and just go ahead and push it up. And all that's going to do is make it more flat. And also it's going to reinforce the nail so that it doesn't break right there where the tip of the nail and your finger bed, your finger actually meet. And if you feel like it's not secure enough, you can go ahead and get a little tiny ball of acrylic and place it right there. Alright. Clean off your brush. My brush is not even worth saving, but it's whatever. So, then you have it on there. I've already did the pinky, so I'm just going to take it off. I did it way too long, so I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it a little. Now, see, I don't I want to uh, I want to refrain from cutting it because that's going to crack the nail. That's how I ended up making the lipstick tips cuz I I cut it and it just split down. So, hopefully it doesn't do that to me. See? I cut a lipstick shape. Now I'm going to take my file and file the sides just in case they're a little rough because sometimes you get a little overage. You want to file the sides and you want to file it down to make sure it doesn't stab you or stab someone else. And that's it. And when you take it off, it has a shiny, shiny coat. See, I didn't even have to put any coat over top of it because it comes off shiny. Okay, I'm just going to file that a bit. And I'm going to take this one off and I'll be back to show you guys the final results.